So let's start by reading the problem. The net force acting on a particle of mass, three kilograms, is given by F, which is just some vector field, in Newtons. You're given a position, R of T, up here, T cosine T sine T, in meters, and of the particle, okay, so R of T is the position of the particle at time T seconds between T equals A and T equals B. Oh. And here my A is zero and my B is pi. So calculate the work done by F on the particle between times zero and pi. Well, you probably notice something and it is that I'm not actually given that force field that I need. So I'm gonna to have to think about work in another way. Well, work can, is like the change in kinetic energy, right? And let's recall the formula for kinetic energy. It's one half mass times velocity squared. Well, I'm given a mass, right? Three kilograms. And I'm not given velocity, but I am given position. So I could take the derivative and then the, find the magnitude of that vector to get velocity. So let's go ahead and do that. So r prime of t. So I get r prime by taking the derivative of each of the components with respect to t. So the derivative of t is going to be 1. The derivative of cosine of t is going to be negative sine of t. And the derivative of sine of t is going to be cosine of t. So this gives me a velocity vector, but I can find its magnitude to get the actual velocity. So remember, that's kind of like the distance formula. It's the square root of each of the components squared. So I have the square root of 1 plus sine squared t plus cosine squared t. Well, this is our favorite trig identity. That's going to be 1. So my velocity is actually a constant, and it's the square root of 2. Well, my velocity is actually independent of time. So if I want to calculate the kinetic energy at t equals 0 and t equals pi, there's really nothing to change since my velocity is constant. So there's actually not any kinetic energy changing. So the work is 0. But we can plug it in and check, right? So at time equals 0, Mass is constant at 3 kilograms, so I have 3 times 1 half times velocity squared, which is 2, so I have 3. And then the same thing at pi. Velocity is still the square root of 2, so my kinetic energy is still 3. So I could say there's no change in kinetic energy, so the work done by f along c is actually going to be 0. Well, zero joules, but that's your answer.